Hi guys, this is Carly. Today we're going to take a look at the neck range of motion. This is the second installment in my stretching series. So first things first is locating the cervical spine or neck bones of the horse. They run along the underline of the neck and I will draw on the lower edge of the first neck bone or atlas and then go over the rest of the vertebrae very generally so you can see just where to place your hands. Now for this stretch, pretend you are holding a ball gently between your hands and all you will do is simulate tossing it from one hand to the other. Place your hands on either side of the neck. You will feel the lumps of the spine under your palm as you work your way up and down the neck. If you can, try and have the main part of those lumps under the soft center of your palm. Keep a balanced stance for yourself and make sure you are in a safe area. And I would probably not have the horse tied up for this one. Sometimes their necks can be quite sensitive. It is best to begin in the middle of the neck. You can work your way up and then back down for a couple of passes. Most horses are least sore in the mid neck and this is why we generally start here. If your horse is too sore in the upper neck, just back off and return again on your next pass slightly higher. Keep the movement soft and subtle. You will be getting more done with this small range of motion than you think. Also remember that the range of motion that you get from side to side is not nearly as important as having a relaxed horse. You can promote a relaxed horse by breathing and keeping your hands, arms, and body soft. A great hint is to watch the horse's mouth with a soft gaze rather than their eye. Horses will often stifle their own releases if they sense you are watching them with too much focus. The neck is a very common area of tension for horses. It is a large area of many overlapping muscles and intricate spinal joints. Horses use their necks for balance and if it is one of the first areas that a horse will brace when they feel any emotional tension or fear. It is also one of the most artificially disrupted areas of the horse's body by riders and tack, so don't underestimate how sensitive they can be. In addition to this gentle range of motion, you can also do some general massage over the atlas. This is the area of muscle just behind the pole. So rest your fingers in the area and do gentle circles and this can vary from just enough pressure to dimple the skin to just enough to disturb the hair. Some horses find this to be too much and just resting your hand in the general area may be enough to bring you some releases. You can even see Preacher here show some resistance to the work in this area even though he's worked on quite often so don't be surprised if your horse is very sensitive. Remember the goal for this is a simple and small range of motion with relaxation being the key. Thanks for watching.